Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone having a wonderful day. The release date for Josh Duggar has been determined, and he won't be serving his entire sentence. Josh Duggar, a former star of 19 Kids and Counting, was found guilty in December 2021 on two counts. Receiving and having materials containing child sexual abuse, CSAM. In May 2019, Duggar downloaded and viewed CSAM on a secret area of his work computer, which led to these accusations. The eldest son of the counting on family from TLC was given a 151-month jail term despite the fact that the lesser charge of possession was dropped during the sentencing hearing in May 2022. Will he really serve that much time in jail? Is the real query. To find out more about Josh Duggar's release, 51-month prison term for Duggar is equivalent to about 12.5 years. He must also pay $50,100 in fines. After his release from prison, he will also serve 20 years on probation, during which time he won't be able to visit children unsupervised or possess, use, or have access to a computer or any other electronic device that has internet or photograph storage capabilities without prior advance notice and approval of the U.S. Probation Office. According to Us Weekly, Duggar and his wife Anna have seven kids together, Madison, Michael, Marcus, Meredith, and Mariella. Josh and Anna's youngest four children will still be under the age of 18 when he is released because they are currently between the ages of 8 months and 12 years. Implying that even after serving his sentence, Josh the won't be allowed to be the scheduled Duggar's sentence release date for August 12, 2032, reports in touch. Mathematically speaking, this implies that he will be released more than two years early. Given the time he has already served and the fact that federal inmates are required to serve 8-5% of their sentences, as in touch noted, this may be the case. Duggar served two months in the Arkansas-Washington County Jail right after being sentenced. The remainder of his term will be served at Federal Correctional Institute, Seagaville in Texas, where he was moved in June 2022. In case anyone was curious, Duggar won't be able to visit Anna while she's in jail for having a conjugal relationship. According to Us Weekly, he will be allowed up to four hours of visitation each month with the only physical contact allowed being handshakes, hugs, and kisses in good taste at the start and end of such visits. Stay tuned with Gossip Time. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.